in this video we're going to focus on the chart chaos array series and the reason i created this series is basically to help you out to understand arrays from a deeper point of view specifically in relationship with the chart js part because with chart js you're going to work with a lot of arrays and as you can see here these are basically all arrays uh, however many people are quite confused when they start to work with chart js they don't see the connection directly so what i'm going to do is i'm going to break it down to show you every possible connection and all the things that you can do with an array as well all right so the first thing that we're going to do is here is to create a chart.js array variable. So how do we create one? Basically here you can see this is all just default item. This is all default. There's nothing fancy here. Everything is same. But here we have this here. And this is basically hard coded. Well, that might be fine if you have a small site. But in practice, this is not the case. Usually you get this value from somewhere else. So what we're going to do is we're going to soft code them. So how will we do that? But basically, we're going to add up new variables or constants. So I say here constant, and here this constant will be, for example, labels. And this will equal this here. So we're going to copy that, put it in there, and then semicolon. Once we did that, we can remove this, and then we say here labels. So labels equals labels, and if we refresh here now, nothing adjusted basically it's all same nothing has happened that is correct because we just replace it so if i say red one and i save this you will see here now this will become red one if i refresh there you are so now let's do this one and let's do also another view let's do the data the background color and the border color as well so if you do here constant and then we can say here oh this will be data equals and in here there you are, and then here what we can do is data, and the same for the background color. So here constant background color equals, or we could maybe adjust this one. We say background color as a small, so it's not identical. It might get confused. So we copy all of this, cut that away, put it in there, remove that, and put this all in here delete all of these excess space there you are and final all right semicolon here and finally here we can copy this variable here and we say this variable equals this here and this is a compute array uh, oh sorry no it's just above here now this one here is eventually identical almost we can basically copy this because you can see here the numbers what i'll do is i'll just copy this paste it in here and let me say here background or not background you say here border and this is just a solid value you can see here number one this is the alpha value for the colors meaning one means solid color while zero equals transparent color so in this case it is 100 percent solid while 0 0.2 would mean a transparency of 80 80 percent and 20 percent solid so it's visible for 20 percent so there we are copy this put it in there comma and there once we save this we refresh you can see everything remains consistent and this is perfect because from now on we basically soft coded this why did we do this we copy all of this eventually because we can assume that imagine in the future you get a new value you put it in here it must come in here and then you can adjust this or edit the values and then you can insert them here if ever so this is basically what we're going to do and we're going to continue on from this point thank you for watching this video and i hope you enjoy it and if you enjoy this video you probably will enjoy this one as well and if you're interested in chart.js check out in the description box the link directing to my chart.js course where you can learn everything about chart.js and finally of course make sure you subscribe to my channel